Welcome and good noon day on this Monday, May 50, May 60, 2022. We're glad you could be with us. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will ever shall be. Amen. Alleluia. Let us say the psalm by half verse. Hear my voice, O God, when I complain. Protect my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked. From the mob of evildoers. They sharpen their tongue like a sword. And aim their bitter words like arrows. That they might shoot down the blameless from ambush. They shoot without warning and are not afraid. They hold fast to their evil course. They plan how they may try their snare. They say, who will see us? Who will find out our crimes? We have thought out a perfect plot. The human mind and heart are a mystery. But God will loose an arrow at them, and suddenly they will be wounded. He will make them trip over their tongues. And all who see them will shake their heads. Everyone will stand in awe and declare God's good deeds. They will recognize his work. The righteous will rejoice, and the Lord will put their trust in him. And all who are true of heart will glory. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is, now, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from First Thessalonians. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, we, are, we who are left until the coming of the Lord, will try no means, pre, will by no means, precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with an archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and with the archangel will rise, angel's call, and the sound of God's trumpet will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will, we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Lord, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us cry unto you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him the spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us a blessing of your example. Help us to follow the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith compassion for others as members of our own family in God. 
Let us be examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brothers and sisters, the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Today we pray for our presiding Bishop Michael Curry, the Scottish Episcopal Church, Bishop Mark Latine and his family, in this diocese, St. Mary's Church in Anchorage, and in the deanery, St. Michael and all angels in Haynes. We pray for those in leadership positions, especially our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. For the residents of Wildflower Court, we pray in the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, the Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, and the Glory House Home. We pray for the end of war, and we pray for the end of COVID-19. We ask for healing for Kathleen, Marilyn, Carrie, Melody, Brian, Savannah and John, Wayne, Bill E, Charles, Mary Grammel, Johanna, Mark Besser and family, Jan, Bruce, Danielle, Danielle, Matthew, George, Harris, Brandon, and Octavia. We give thanksgiving for Peter A's recovery and for the grateful thanks for Mark Besser's 70 years of ordained ministry and his 96 years of life. We pray for the departed, John Rice, John de Armand, Justine Emerson, and all who have died in this pandemic. Please add your petitions or intercessions at this point. Open our hearts to your power moving around us and between us and within us until your glory is revealed in the love of both friend and enemy, in communities transformed by justice and compassion and the healing of all that is broken. Hallelujah. Christ has risen from the dead. The peace of the Lord will always be with you. Amen. O oh God, today we, we celebrate the lives of the martyrs of the Sudans. O oh God, steadfast in the midst of persecution, by your providence, the blood of the martyrs is, is the seed of the church. As the martyrs of the Sudan refuse to abandon Christ, even in the face of torture and death, and so by their sacrifice bring forth a plentiful harvest, May we, too, be steadfast in our faith in Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let our eyes be your eyes, sharing compassion, warmth, and love. Let our hands be your hands, bringing healing and their touch. Let our ears be your ears, listening where there is need. Let our words be your words bringing comfort, joy, and peace. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless the work of our hands. Amen. Amen.